you are a game developer, then you won't get a job unless you do the following. When we want to get a job, there are multiple factors that we must have in count. Our CV, portfolio, way of applying, platform, amount of applications, etc. So today I will teach you the exact things that you have to consider in order to get a job in the game development industry. Now let's start. Factor 1. CV and portfolio. So basically this first factor is about how we apply for this job. In most cases, recruiters will only take 30 to uh, 45 seconds in order to check your CV and they will then decide if you are a good fit for the position they are looking for or not. So it is super important that we have an optimized CV and the same thing happens with your portfolio. They aren't going to read everything uh, super deeply. They are just going to take a general look at your portfolio in about 30, 45 seconds. They will decide if uh, you're a good fit or not. Why does this happen? Because there are a lot of applicants in this job, so they have to really uh, filter people uh, as quick as possible. So now we'll teach you how you can actually create a good looking CV and portfolio in literally a minute. First of all, download some kind of software like Canva, okay? And here you will have a bunch of ways of using some CV templates that will really save you time and also will make sure that you, you are using an appropriate layout, okay? So here is my CV, you can take here a look by pausing the video, etc. So first of all, you should have some kind of banner uh, introducing yourself in terms of where you live, uh, some uh, social links, your photo, and then you should also have a, a paragraph with two, three sentences about yourself, what you do, where you live, some kind of inspirational words, let's say. Um, and also here comes the most important thing, uh, your professional experience. And what most people does here is that they just write, okay, the name of the company, uh, the name of the role and the timeline, okay, for that role. But what they mostly skip are two things. And these two, th two things will really help you stand out from the crowd that as I was telling you, uh, recruiters always have a lot of applicants in their jobs. Uh, so it's super important for us to stand out from the crowd in order to actually get that job. So let me show you the two key things that you have to consider when writing your professional experience that will have huge impact on if you are finally uh, getting an interview or not. And that is that first of all, you have to write a pretty short description about the role. This doesn't have to be super revolutionary or that you have to write a lot of things. Uh, this could be a pretty obvious statement for you, but sometimes recruiters aren't actually specially sized in uh, some companies, maybe this is a well-known company, but maybe the recruiters isn't specialized in game development, so they really don't know about you, eh, about the company, I mean, or a lot of things about game development. That's why you have to write a pretty short description about the role that you are, um, that, that you have. Um, and then also super important is to have a reference to the games or projects that you have taken part in. Uh, as part of the experience, okay? So for example here, I do have some references to the work that I did uh, with this experience. As you can see, uh, with the other uh, jobs, I can't really showcase a lot of things, but if I can showcase some kind of, thing, of things, what I do is the following, and it's also super useful, so pay close attention. And that is that here, uh, click the highlighted text to follow the related link. So for example here, Juicy's Tutors. This is an e-learning platform. It's like a Udemy, let's say, something like that. Um, so if they just click here on this uh, title, they will be redirected to the Juicy's Tutors platform, okay? Uh, the same thing here with Fiverr, with my YouTube channel, and with other companies that I have worked, okay? So basically, this is a much more efficient and more dynamic way of showcasing your professional experience that will actually get you more clients and more views. And then when it comes to your portfolio, the layout that you have to follow is quite similar to this. Um, you can actually go to my portfolio, go into this website, uh, and you should uh, just have your about me section, your professional experience. I also add here some testimonials, the certificates, uh, the skills, and the relevant projects. As you can see, the portfolio, the aim of the portfolio is quite similar to the CV, but here everything is showcased in a much more dynamic way than in a CV that is just a document. Here we have some GIFs, some videos, some animations, so it's just a better way of showcasing this, the exact same thing. Factor number two, global presence. If somebody looks for your name in Google or in any other way, 
they should be able to find you and how you are going to be able to have this global presence basically you have to open a linkedin profile and you have to post your portfolio in the website okay those are the two key points and then if there you can even add for example having a youtube channel an instagram account or literally any other social profile where you showcase what you do this doesn't mean uh converting yourself into a full-time content creator this just means showcasing what you are doing and what you are keen on in social media that will be amazing so let me show you how you can quickly do this so first of all you have to open yourself a linkedin profile okay this is probably a platform that you probably know but if you don't know there is a platform where you can apply for jobs literally every company posts their jobs here or most of them and here i really recommend you to take a look at my profile you can just look at me here marco paleta and you will be able to find me i leave a link uh, to my linkedin profile in the description down below so i really recommend you to take a look at it because here my profile has some interesting points that will help you get your job and that is the fact that uh, you will have to have a good a nice looking profile picture that matches your banner and also there are other sections that you have to take a look at for example the about me section uh the experience and a lot of other sections that you should definitely take a look at so my profile is quite a uh, good optimized because for example some people maybe just start messaging messaging me directly about jobs that i haven't applied for but they just have uh, found my profile online because i have good ceo positioning due to the fact that not only do i have uh, an optimized profile but i also keep everything updated i mean i post here frequently um about what i do about my achievements about the project that i have created etc so this is something that you really have to have in mind factor number three massively applying you can expect to actually get a job if you are just sending one or two applications weekly or even less than that it's gonna be impossible as i was telling you jobs usually have a bunch of applicants hundreds of applicants and even thousands of applicants sometimes if the role is is so good and it is advertised advertising a, a lot so you really have to be massively applying because one of the only ways of uh, standing out of the crowd or actually increasing your chances of getting the job is just increasing the amount of applications that you send on a weekly basis. I recommend you to apply for at least uh, 7 to 10 jobs on a weekly basis and you may think that that is a lot but let me show you how you can quickly do this. Here in LinkedIn you are able to go to the job section and basically you are able to uh, look here for the title and the a city or the place where the job will take place and here you are able to find a lot of jobs if not here you are able to connect to a lot of recruiters and hiring managers that maybe they have some positions opened or even you can look here for a unity game developer position or something like this and probably there will be some posts for example here hi i'm hiring for unity game developer position urgent role so here you can apply here as you can see uh, well, this guy or he is open to work. But here, for example, here we have other opportunities. So make sure that you are keeping everything updated in order to apply to the most amount of jobs possible. Factor number four, keep updated. If you don't keep updated, you will literally die, okay? Uh, as you probably know, game development, programming, this kind of stuff is always updating. There are always new things that are being created. So if you don't update, you will be completely forgotten. So I believe that keeping updated means three main points. First of all, learning. Learning new stuff every day, taking new courses, uh, looking at uh, some important article, watch a YouTube video about how to learn something that you don't know, uh, etc. Then the second uh, point would be creating, basically applying that learning that you have gained in the previous point, let's say, in uh, new projects that you can showcase and that will actually make you stand out of the crowd and finally showcasing okay basically showcasing this new project that you have created with the learning that you gained in your cv in your portfolio in your global presence that i that i told you in your linkedin in your youtube channel etc this isn't only about keeping yourself updated but also keeping in a way the community that you are building updated because if you are able to build your own personal brand basically if you are able to build your own online profile opportunities will come eventually to you of course it takes a lot of time but once that is uh, set trust me you won't ever ever have problems with jobs factor number five networking as game developers, we are usually quite alone in here because we don't usually have a lot of friends, we don't usually socialize a lot. But what is key here is that in networking, uh, there it's quite essential, okay? Because maybe if you start networking with some people, you may actually uh, have access to other opportunities that you may not actually be able to have. 
So for example, in platforms like LinkedIn that I will show you in a second, you're able to have networking, okay? Basically, you're going to, have to start building your network. And as they say, the, your network is also your net worth. So it is because of something. If you have built correctly your network, you will have uh, people with which you are going to be able to interact to uh, discuss about different projects. You're going to be able to see their projects and also they're going to be able to give you feedback on your projects, not only on your projects, but if you start with your networking, maybe somebody's looking for somebody for a role. And maybe if you have some influence uh, with, with you, they will probably refer you directly. I remember people are a resource like I am for you. I'm here teaching you something that probably will be useful. So let me show you how you can actually network here on LinkedIn. So the best way of networking here on LinkedIn will be just looking for your position name. And here, well, you will be able to here find a section groups. Okay. So basically here, as you can see, you will have a bunch of groups here. Uh, take a look at the amount of members because if the group has like nine members, it's not going to help you a lot. Um, and try to look for more general uh, words, like not just Unity game developer, that maybe, well, um, you may have here some uh, influential groups, but if you just look here for game development, for example, here as you can see, you do have a bunch of uh, groups where you can join. And for example, if I go here to this group, as you can see, not only I will be able to find important information, but also people that are game developers that networking with them would be useful. So then you should try to have as many connections as possible because it will also uh, give you some engagement with your posts. OK, and the more engagement that you have with your posts, the most probably you will appear here on the search results. If somebody, for example, looks for Unity game developer. So if you have encountered all these five factors when you are uh, applying for jobs and when you want to get a job, eventually you will get it. OK, so remember all these factors that I was telling you throughout the video and you will succeed. If you found this video interesting, useful, etc., please kindly let me know in the comments down below so that I will upload more similar content and probably help you more and help all other people that probably have similar doubts to the ones that you have. I hope we can see each other on the next video and in order to do so, also consider subscribing to the channel and turning on all notifications. See you on the next one and bye bye. Thanks for watching.